Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with a review of the Eufy RoboVac L70 Hybrid Vacuum Cleaner. So this one is a little bit different than its predecessors. Of course it comes in white. It's got this cool little module up here. That's where all the lasers and the sensor stuff is at. But what is so special about this one is that it actually maps the room and it vacuums the entire thing the way that it's supposed to goes around the edges, it figures out the best path, it follows back in, it does a crisscross pattern, all of that to say that it is a way big step above all the previous RoboVacs in its ability to clean. And it has more suction power than ever, 2200 PA of suction power, which is quite a bit. It's two in one. Not only does it vacuum, but it has a mop attachment as well with a water reservoir. So you can use that to clean up your wood and your tile floors. And it's operated by your smartphone and you can still use the voice assistant support. So if you connect it to your Alexa or your Google assistant, you can give it commands that way to have it start vacuuming or to go back and start charging. So there's a lot of really cool stuff here. And Eufy was kind enough to send this out to me to demonstrate and test as a review unit. So super happy about it. Now let's go ahead and get into the review of the RoboVac L70. <music> All right, so the first thing that's going to happen, you see here on the screen the little radar diagram image that it created. As soon as you turn it on, it's going to spin around in a circle and it's going to create the image as it maps the room. And then that's going to, what it's going to work off of when it starts to clean. Now, what I did for the purposes of this is I went and you can see I put little red no clean zones. I created a square boundary around the cleaning area so it'll stick to right here in this area that you see so that we can show and display how well it can clean, how well it works with detecting those edge boundaries and what it does when it cleans the room. So you can see there, it's already started going. It did the straight line, it goes and it establishes the boundary. So whenever it cleans the room, it will drive all the way around this artificial created boundary that you have or whatever the scanned image is on the map for the map of the room. And it will do the outside first. So it drives all the way around the outside, it establishes the perimeter, and then it will start cleaning on the inside, which you'll be able to see here. Now there's the base station. There's actually another older RoboVac right there because I've been using it for a long time. And I wanted you to see actually how well this maneuvers and it handles the obstacle. So there's a cord over there, there's another robot vacuum cleaner over there, and it's gonna populate this data uh, into its updated map on the app. So you'll be able to see where uh, it went around things while it was detecting the, uh, the perimeter of the area so it could vacuum the floor properly. So it's really neat. Uh, this thing has impressed me from day one as soon as I've taken it out of the box. But you can see there, see there's kind of make that little circle area and that's where all that stuff was over there. So it's creating the line and it's re basically re-etching the outline of the room. So you can see where you have like the TV stand and stuff. So now that it has done all the way around the edge, it's going to get ready and it's going to start vacuuming the entire floor, working itself in these little zigzag lines, which is pretty neat. So when it does this, it goes straight. It'll go all the way straight to the end of the boundary and then it will turn and it'll do another line on the way back. So you can see right here, it's making a little turn. It's just slightly over from the last one. So there's a little bit of overlapping that way it can thoroughly clean the room. And you can see there, it really fluffs up the carpet too while it's vacuuming. And that's something that really wasn't um, really wasn't possible for the other previous RoboVacs didn't really do that. And myself and my wife have been particularly uh, happy with this because not only does it clean the carpet really well, but it also makes it look nice and it fluffs it up, which is something that is a good quality in a vacuum cleaner. So it's just doing its thing right now. All right, so I wanted to go ahead and show off here. You can see you've got a couple of rows already, and we're gonna do some fancy stuff here in a minute uh, because I did want to go ahead and show you how well it cleans because it's a difference between just sucking up the dog hair and all the other stuff that's in the carpet. But what I did was is here in a couple of minutes, I got some chips and I got some cereal and I crushed it in the carpet so we can see how well the RoboVac actually handles cleaning up that stuff. So it's not just for day-to-day -day routine stuff. It'll clean up some of the mess. And you can see there, it updates on the map as it goes, which is pretty cool. All right, so much to my wife's disappointment, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and really 
test out the, uh, the suction capacity and how effective this RoboVac is. I went and I got some potato chips and I got some Raisin Bran, you know, because it's part of a balanced breakfast. I figure it's part of a balanced breakfast for the RoboVac too. Uh, so anyway, uh, I have them on the carpet here and we're going to go step on them, crunch it all up, and then let the Robac, RoboVac do its thing. All right, so here are our Lay's, or sorry, our Ruffles potato chips and our Raisin Bran. So, because I'm a madman. All right, so I think that that's pretty well crumpled up enough for a demonstration. So let's see how the RoboVac handles this. This better work. <laughs> It'll work. That's our new carpet. All right, so here we are with the first pass on the cereal and the potato chips that I crushed into the carpet. Now, it's not going to get all this on the first sweep. One nice thing that the RoboVac does is so when I showed you on the little map there, you could see that it does a little zigzag line. It does that until it cleans the entire room. But what's really nice about that is after it cleans the entire room that way, it goes and it starts over from the edge and it does the zigzag lines the opposite direction. So it's kind of like that crossing uh, you know, both ways, vertically and horizontally, all the way across the room so that it gives you twice the opportunity to make sure everything that's clean. So see here, now we're going the opposite direction. So it's going to fill in the entire map again, but going crossways to the way it did originally. So you see how for, you know, before we were going one direction and now we're going this direction. So it's going to go ahead and do double the cleaning for the room, which I think is really good. I'm glad that they thought about that and made this vacuum cleaner so thorough because it really does a great job in cleaning up the room. All right, so we're just about done with the regular room cleaning. Now it's gonna go try and go back to base and I wanted to highlight this. So I started mine from the beginning of the room. It has issues with returning to base. So if you start the RoboVac from the base, then it will leave the base and then whenever it's supposed to return, it'll return to the base. Mine is a little confused and it says this in the owner's manual. If you take the RoboVac off the base and put it somewhere and start it and don't start it from the base, then it won't go back. It gets lost and then it spins around like this and it gets confused and you have to go pick it up and manually put it back on the charger. So that's something to take into consideration. So it's just driving all over the place now. All right, so you also have spot mode and what that does is you can clean one certain area, you put it where you want and then you press start and it creates a five foot by five foot box where it cleans just like the regular room. It creates a perimeter and then it goes through and it cleans the inside of it just like it were the whole room but a smaller area. All right, so the RoboVac is done now, and this is the area, like you saw earlier, where I had all the chips and the cereal, and I stepped on them and I crushed them. After all was said and done, it did one room clean, and then I did the spot clean on this area. And all that we have left is this one little piece of bran flake. So I don't know what it is, maybe it's the size, maybe it's stuck in the carpet, I don't know. But other than that, it got absolutely everything. And you can see here the carpet looks nice and fluffy. And I think it really did a fantastic job, especially for something considering it's just you know, a RoboVac that's an automatic robot vacuum cleaner that goes around. I mean, it's not as big and as powerful as a normal vacuum cleaner, nor does it have a person that's directing it to do everything. So I think it did a pretty good job. One thing that was a little bit of a letdown for me with this model is it doesn't have its actual own dedicated remote control like all the other previous models do. You have to use the app. So you can go in here and you can control it manually. It's a little irritating because you can't back it up. You can only go left or right or forward. So I don't know why they didn't want to include the back feature in there, but it's not there. So a little irritating, but you can see here, it's very easy to control. You go left, you go right, you go forward so you can get it in whatever direction that you want it to go to, which is great if you want to get it set up for cleaning or just for using spot mode. So it's, it's pretty handy. Another nice feature here is the Find My Robot. 
And in the event that you lose your robot vacuum or it drives off somewhere and gets stuck, you can press this button and it'll play the little jingle, which you can go in and turn off once you find it. So that way you can go off and find your robot vacuum cleaner and get it back to doing what it's supposed to do, which is cleaning. Now, they do have a maintenance section in here as well in the app that shows you, you know, how often you're supposed to clean and change these things out. And it tells you what the status is too, based off of the time that it's been used or the amount that it's, you know, the amount of distance that it's driven. So you can reset the sensors, the side brush, the roller, the filter, all that good stuff. So if you're concerned about when you need to change these uh, things like the brush or the filter or when you need to reset stuff, you can pay attention to this. And then when you do reset it, you just go back in, you hit the reset button. So that way it starts over, assuming you have the new accessory in there, and then you're good to go all over again. All right, so now I wanna show you how to empty out the bin. You've got the filter there, all that stuff's easy to take out, but right here you have a little latch and you just pull on that. It's under spring tension and then you can separate the water tray on the top, which also serves as the lid. Then you can dump out the contents from the little reservoir. And then all you have to do is put the little two latches back into place, snap it and you're good to go. So it's really easy to take apart and dump out all the stuff that you vacuumed up and then get ready to go again. Now, this is how you fill up the water reservoir on top. It's got that little uh, flanged rubber seal on the top. And all you have to do is just pull that back and then it's best to tilt it down because you're gonna have you know, the air bubbles and stuff in there. So go ahead and fill it up with water. And then once it's full of water, you can see that the two areas are separate and distinct from each other, which is nice. So you can have the water in there because it still vacuums at the same time, even when it's mopping, which I think is a pretty cool feature. All right, so mop mode is really easy to use. So we've got the reservoir in there. The reservoir already has the water in it. It's nice and watertight, so it won't leak. This is the mop pad with a little apparatus that connects onto it. There's the two latches so you can disengage. Now what you do is you flip the RoboVac over and then on the back side there, you can see it's got the little ramp. You just slide it into place, it'll lock in. And then the RoboVac automatically detects that you put the mop on there. So it will enter mopping mode. So you don't have to do anything else. It's ready to go and you just go put it on the surface wherever it is that you want to start mopping. So pretty neat. All right, so I got it set up in this small portioned off area of my kitchen and you can see I set the boundaries again. It's really easy to set the boundaries. You can go and you can set no mop zones and no vacuum zones. So I set the no mop zones. It's very easy. You just put the boxes and you set them to the size that you need them and then you're good to go. So see, it's gonna scan the area. So it scanned that. I've got a long kitchen behind me so you can't see that right now, but this is the area that it's in so we can get ready to start. I got it boxed off and now it's going to do its little mopping thing. Now, a little asterisk here, I did have problems with my RoboVac. My mop actually isn't working. So there's three water jets on the bottom. The reservoir is fine, but for whatever reason, it won't dispense the water. So if you buy this, of course yours has a warranty. Mine is a, it's a review model, so I didn't have the opportunity to return it and get that fixed. But I did go ahead and I, wet down the mop that was on it so I could simulate it and see what it looks like and how it works. And I do need to go ahead and caution you here. It's really not the greatest mop. Uh, it's not designed to actually clean your floors. It's just designed to mop up the surface after they've already been cleaned. So if you look at the manual, it says to make sure you start with a clean floor. So it's a little irritating in that regard because it's advertised as a mop, but it's not really a mop. It's really just kind of like a Swiffer. So if your floor is already clean and you just need to get some dust or some dog fur or something like that off of it, then that's really what it's for. But honestly, I mean, it's kind of more of a pain in the rear end than it's worth, I think. But one other important thing to note is that whenever you're mopping, it also vacuums. So it will use the vacuum suction on there uh, unless you disable it and turn it off, which is something that you can also do. So you can have it just mop or you can have it vacuum and mop at the same time. And then whenever you do zone clean, you can have it do it once or you can have it do it again. So we've got the zone set up here, everything's good to go, and you could have it do one or two passes, which is really nice. And then you can also take a look at the cleaning history, and it'll show you every time that you started cleaning, and for how long, and gives you the details on it, and shows you the area that it cleaned with the map. So it's really kind of neat. It keeps track of everything, lets you know what it's doing, and then see there's another illustration. That's what it looked like whenever I vacuumed that area in the living or living room earlier for the first demonstration. All right, so one other nice thing is the ability to set your cleaning on a schedule. So you can set it for however many days of the week, what time you want it to do it, 
And of course, since now it's an automatic vacuum that senses and detects the area that it's cleaning, you don't have to worry about it defaulting to the previous mode or what mode you had it in whenever you put it back on the charging base. This one, it's still gonna sense the area, it's still gonna clean, and then you can set it for a day and a time that you want it, and you can set multiple schedules. So that's really nice as well. You can see there's a schedule, you can turn it on or off, and then if you wanna delete the schedule, you just swipe it over to the left and then you hit the delete button. So it's really convenient and easy to use for scheduling. So last but not least, I wanna go ahead and show you here the smart integrations. You can use this with Alexa or you can use it with your Google Assistant. Now you do need to follow these steps that it has here to set it up. And then if you have a smartphone that you have connected with Google Assistant or you have a smart assistant at home, it's very easy. You just give it the prompt like, you know, okay, and then Google or hey Alexa, and then you know, tell RoboVac to go clean or tell RoboVac uh, to return to the charging base. So it's nice that you have the smart features that are integrated with it. So not only can you use your phone to control it, but you can also use the voice commands to have it go out and clean as well. All right, so that's all I've got on the Eufy RoboVac L70 Hybrid. As you can see, it is definitely a step well and above all of the previous RoboVac models. It competes really well with the Roombas and all the other ones. And the price point, I think, is a little bit healthier, something that is a little bit more palatable if you look at it and see what you're getting. Now, 2200 PA of suction power. You've got the laser and artificial intelligence mapping stuff. You've got the ability to use the mop and the vacuum feature. You can set up your zones so it doesn't... So you can tell it where to go and where not to go and all those crazy things. So at 550 bucks, uh, it's definitely still a little bit of a spicy meatball, I think, for some people to uh, to palate. Uh, if I were to buy one of these outright, I mean, I think it's worth it. It's just, I mean, it's a lot of money. But uh, usually they have a lot of sales and prices drop and we're coming into Black Friday in the holiday season. So, you know, it might be something that the price drops on. I'm not sure. But if you look at what it's able to do versus a lot of the other competition that's out there, I think that it's priced competitively. So uh, I can definitely say that about it. I really, really enjoy this vacuum cleaner. It cleans so good, especially the carpet. I let it loose in the kitchen and it maneuvers around the table and the chairs and all that stuff. So I mean, if you're looking at something that you want a good comprehensive solution that'll really keep your carpet and your floors clean, I think this is it. Uh, it's really, really good. Now, I don't really care so much about the mopping feature. Uh, and again, you know, mine wasn't working properly, so I had to test it you know, a little bit differently, but if you are living in a smaller household and you just have like maybe some cats or dogs running around or it's just something that needs to be dusted with the Swiffer periodically, I think the mopping function will be great, uh, but it doesn't just clean your floor. So I think it's a little uh, misleading on the assumption that you think that it's going to do more mopping really. It's just kind of like a baseline clean with a, with a wet rag, you know, kind of the same thing. But overall, um, solid product. Glad that Eufy sent it out to me. Of course, I wasn't compensated for this in any way. They're not getting to see this review before it gets published, all that jazz. It was just sent out purely as a review model. So that's all I've got. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section. I'll get back with you. As always, thanks for tuning in. If you like the video, hit the like and the subscribe button, the little notification bell, so you get the latest and greatest. I appreciate you being here, and I'll see you guys next time.